Now this part of the question then, we're given the log of 32 in base 2 plus the log of 16 in base 2, all divided by the log in base 2 of x equals the log in base 2 of x. So how do we find out what x is? Well, what I'd want to do in an equation like this, I've got a fractional equation, there's my fraction down here, I'd want to get rid of the fraction. So I can do that by multiplying both sides by the log of x in base 2. So we'll start by doing that and therefore what we have is that if we multiply this side by the log of x in base 2 we're just going to be left with the top part of this fraction. So let's write that down, the log of 32 in base 2 plus the log of 16 in base 2 equals the log in base 2 of x times another one of these log in base 2 of x. So in other words, I've got this term squared. Next, I need to clean this up. When you're working with log equations, what you must do is always reduce your equation down to two terms. We've got, at the moment, three terms. We've got one, two, three terms. You can't solve log equations with more than two terms. You need to bring them down to two terms. So what I'm going to do is group these two terms together and create one term. And to do that, we use a log rule, which you should be familiar with. Let me just remind you, that is, if you have the log of any number, let's say A, in a given base, say C, plus the log of another number, but it must be in the same base, C, this is identical to the log in base C of A times B. So I'm going to use that rule here with these two terms. We're in the same base, base 2, and so I can say that therefore the log in base 2 of 32 times 16 is exactly the same as the log in base 2 of x all squared. Now what have we got here? Well, if you were to multiply 32 with 16, what you're going to get is the log in base 2 of 512. And that's equal to the log in base 2 of x all squared. Now, what we can do now is this number 512 in base 2, this is a well-known result. Remember by the definition of logs, which I quoted earlier, okay, the log of a number in a given base is equal to b, providing n equals a to the power b. Well, 2 to the power 9 gives 512. So that means that this value here is 9. You might even have a calculator anyway that can work this out, okay? So you could type it in, but it is 9. 2 to the power 9 gives 512. So therefore, what we've got is 9 equals the log in base 2 of x, or squared. Now if I square root both sides, I've got plus or minus 3, don't forget that, the plus or minus, equals the log in base 2 of x. Now that means that according to this rule again, okay, that x must be equal to the base, which is 2, raised to the power plus or minus 3. And so if we take x to be plus 3, we've got 2 to the power 3, which is 8. And if we take 2 to the power minus 3, 2 to the power minus 3 means 1 over 2 cubed. And 1 over 2 cubed is 1 eighth. So you have two values then for x for this equation. OK, so I hope you're able to follow my working there. And that brings us now to the end of this question.